Hey guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo here. We are reviewing this guy, the iPhone 5C. It's a really interesting little mid-range kind of device, so let's check it out. So I know John tends to do reviews in a very specific way. I kind of tend to go a little bit different with mine and real world use case it. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this phone and why uh, I think it's an interesting addition to the Apple lineup. So let's start off with the design because obviously this is the big deal on the iPhone 5C. They've added polycarbonate backs, polycarbonate casing to the phone. Honestly, I was expecting these to be a little bit more poppy, like I was expecting these to be almost neonish. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that it ended up not going that way. These are a little bit more muted than I had originally thought. Uh, I'm not a huge fan, oddly enough. Uh, before I saw the cases with the holes in them, the Connect 4 cases, uh, now, I, now that I've seen them on the devices, again, they're a little bit more muted than I would have liked, so I don't know if I like that combination. Uh, but generally speaking, as to the polycarbonate itself, um, they really made a great choice because obviously the iPhone 5 was prone to scuffs. Uh, that is no longer an issue with this. You don't feel worried about scratching up your device. You don't feel concerned about, you know, dropping it and getting a big dent. Uh, this is definitely a really nice design by Apple, and it's certainly not the first time we've seen a beautiful, colorful polycarbonate phone. Cough, Nokia, Lumia's. Um, but again, those are great devices and their build quality is really lovely. So. At the end of the day, I think that this was a really good choice by Apple, especially in offering a lower priced iPhone or a less expensive iPhone. But I certainly wouldn't by any stretch of the word call it cheap because it doesn't feel cheap in the hand. It, uh, it absolutely feels like a nice phone. It feels like a good solid device. It doesn't feel um, flimsy at all. So I have to give Apple credit for designing uh, the phone. But again, I would have liked maybe even brighter colors. Hardware-wise, the iPhone 5C is rocking the exact same A6 processor that the iPhone 5 had. So if you want to check that out, you can check out our review of the iPhone 5. But generally speaking, using the iPhone 5C was a really pleasurable experience. There wasn't a lot of slowdown. It handles iOS 7 really well, um, even though some of the animations were just a hair slower than on the 5S. Um, there was no real noticeable breakdown in speed, um, especially when compared to a device like the iPhone 4S, uh, which certainly has had its fair share of issues handling some of the stuff happening in iOS 7. On to camera. So the camera, again, same thing that is happening in the iPhone 5, so nothing totally different. I do like the new camera app. I think it's a really well-designed app. It's clean, uh, much better designed than some of the other first-party apps that Apple has added in iOS 7. I'm looking at you, Calendar. Uh, but the camera app does very well. The shutter is very quick. I haven't had any issues taking pictures. Um, again, it does every now and again does suffer in low light. It depends on the setting. Uh, you do tend to get that washed out look uh, because it doesn't have the true tone flash like the iPhone 5S does if you're shooting in low light. But generally speaking, uh, I would say on par with any uh, phone in its class. So an HTC One Mini or anything that's around $99 on contract here in the States. In terms of battery life, you're looking at a day's use. I tend to be a relatively, I would say, moderate user. I'm not a power user by any means. I use the phone to listen to podcasts on my way into work and home. I also use a check email and do other things throughout the day, but I'm not a power user by any means. I'm not, you know, jamming through <laughs> Infinity Blade 3 for four hours on my phone during the day. I will say that with iOS 7, this particular uh, setup uh, has suffered slightly in terms of battery life. I know that the iPhone 5 has kind of seen the same battery life hit that we've seen uh, here on the 5C. So you're probably looking at maybe 10% less using iOS 7 uh, than you would see before. But generally speaking, it's not that much time, especially if you're a light to moderate user. Overall, the iPhone 5C is a great device for anybody looking to pick up an iPhone that isn't the most current generation of iPhone. If you don't want a flagship or you don't feel it's necessary, or if you don't have the money, the iPhone 5C is a great choice if you like iOS and you've been in the Apple ecosystem for a while. With that being said, we gave it a solid eight. And I think it's a really respectable score for a phone that would be considered sort of a mini variant of its flagship counterpart. So an HTC One is a great, great, great phone. But the HTC One Mini is great in its own right as well. 
And I think we can say the same thing about the iPhone 5C. Well, that's been our review of the iPhone 5C. You can check out our iPhone 5S review as well. That went up this week. Uh, you can check all of our links out in the description to head over to technobuffalo.com. Please feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if, you, if you're feeling it, if you love our channel, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everyone? John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today! If you want to check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.